This is Kate Stashney from Dedicated sharing a quick recap of my time at Dremio Subsurface Live in New York City. The morning started with a breakfast with the Dremio product team where attendees got to sit down and chat with Dremio's VP Product Management, James Rowland Jones or RJR, Isha Sharma, Senior Director of Product at Dremio and Casey Karst, a Principal Product Manager at Dremio. Next up, we headed over to the keynote session where we heard from Sandor Salakumar, CEO of Dremio. He talked about how organizations want AI but are facing challenges like slow data access, maintenance tasks, incomplete insights, and more. Customers are dealing with proprietary systems, operational bottlenecks, and high costs. Sandor talked about the open lake house that provides customers freedom at lower cost. He went on to define what it means to be open. It's not just about open source, it's about flexibility of choice and freedom for the customer. It's the customer's data and Dremio is focused on avoiding any vendor lock-in, which is great for customers. Dremio is a top five Iceberg contributor and they actually are co-hosting the Iceberg Summit along with Tabular later this month. We also learned that Dremio has auto-scaling for their cloud to make it seamlessly affordable to use. Dremio is on a mission to have no query fails. They're working on decreasing their already low 0.5% query failure rate. And guess what? You can now run Dremio Cloud on Microsoft Azure. We also heard from Colleen Tartau, the field CTO of Vast Data, and she talked about the zero trust data lake house. She said to never trust and always verify everything from data sources to people, processes, and access to data. Later on, we heard from Benjamin Schweizer from Stackit. He talked about the open digital ecosystem, creating infrastructure and platform services to ensure stability. He announced the new launch of Stackit data and AI platform, connecting business applications with BI tools and offering no-code, low-code solutions. We also heard a great talk from Carl Smolka, TD Securities, and he shared some of the lessons learned from his experience, including the fact that data literacy is hard. It takes time and repetition, and value is sometimes hard to quantify. He mentioned that getting executive buy-in is essential and that technology landscape is still evolving. In my spare time, I had a chance to talk to some of the sponsors to understand how they partner with Dremio. Domo's custom built-in integration allows for smooth and efficient querying of existing data or ingestion of new data into your Dremio data lake house. Upsolver is the ingestion engine for high-scale data into the Iceberg lake house, which you can query from Dremio. Datafold is a data quality platform for validating data when replicating it into Dremio Data Lake or making changes to SQL code. MinIO is a high performance object storage, which is a drop in replacement for AWS S3 in a modern data lake architecture in order to achieve high performance and simplicity. MinIO plus Dremio architecture is a popular choice in financial services, telecommunications, and media. I actually got to talk to Rishi from Quaris. Let's hear from him. I'm here with Rishi from Quaris. Rishi, how's your day going so far? It's been outstanding. This is the first conference Quaris has come out at, and Gremio has provided us such a platform. It's amazing. So many conversations, such rich conversations I have at today. It's been amazing. Yeah. How do you partner with Gremio? Yeah. Yeah. So Gremio and Quaris is like the perfect match. Okay. Perfect match. So think about it. Gremio is subsurface. Anything that's complicated, hairy data, Dremio is making it really easy to consume. And then what do we do? We stick it into some BI tool. That's like so 20th century. So Queris is a perfect match with Dremio. Dremio exposes the data, Queris makes it a million times easy to consume. And we also had a super fun time dancing with Gnarly. Check it out.